Hello, I'm Angel. Welcome to Healthy and Heart, and I hope you are healthy in heart, mind, body, and soul today. Um, so after last week's grocery haul for High Raw Vegan, um, I thought, well, uh, maybe this is something people are interested in. Um, so what I've done is um, I want to compare the two weeks to um, because there are things that we have left over from last week like oranges and apples, um, onions, pineapple, um, spinaches, a lot of frozen fruits and things like that. So um, I want to show you something. So I have a computer program that I use to um, figure out my menu and my recipes and whatnot and I will probably do be doing a review on that because so far I'm loving that app um, but here's what our menu looks like and um, there are several days that we're doing freezer clean out um, so there, there's gonna be a few days that we're gonna be doing just stuff mm -hmm. out of the freezer to knock that down a little bit and there's um, actually these ones with the blue checks are also that because they're already pre-made or pre-gathered in um, a container in the okay so let's look at let's look at what we have on the table you are not gonna see a whole lot on here because there's like no way to to show it um, in a reasonable manner so mm -hmm. Um, I will be going over the things one by one. Okay, and the reason I wanted to do the, this video is because, yes, we spent $300 last week, um, although we still had some extra stuff left over from the week before, but um, that seems to be the, the way it goes, right? Um, so we also have that same issue today. So what we have is um, I'm using the menu, um, the computer program to use what I have in the freezer and also to um, plan out my menus, um, make sure our nutrition is where it's supposed to be, which is very important. That's very important. Uh, so I'm loving that. And what it does is it prints out a grocery list and I can edit that based on what we have in stock and based on um, what we need because there's some things, some recipes that will call for uh, cucumbers so what I'll do is make a large recipe minus the cucumbers because my husband will not eat cucumbers. He'll eat pickles, but not cucumbers. So what I'll do is make a large one and separ separate out what Kelsey and I will eat and put the cucumbers in that and leave his without the cucumbers. So if you have a picky eater, sometimes you can do things like that to, um, to, to make it work for your family. So what do we have here? Um, I have two containers and big screens by the way all of this stuff right here costs two hundred dollars and um what i'm spending at misfits is about thirty to forty dollars um actually it's thirty five to forty dollars um so now i did get a couple of things that were not on my list which is one of these because they just looked really good and i've been wanting some okra hopefully i will not be disappointed um, there's some junk things on there too. Well, not really junk things, but they're treats. Um, and as it says, one ingredient. <laughs> so these are like some little fruit bars, uh, for Kelsey. These are, um, mm -hmm. pineapple and then pineapple with coconut. Just a little, um, fruit treat for her. I got some spices. I needed, um, tarragon for a recipe this week and I don't have any tarragon. We have some tomatoes, some uh, bag of radishes, and a lot of those. Three packs of garden onions, and uh, the two hundred dollars was spent between um, Food Lion, Aldi, and Kroger. The bulk of this was at Aldi. And then the other things I got at Food Lion and Kroger. Like these right here, which are Todd's treats. 
Um, and he uses these in his cereal and stuff. Um, another treat for Kelsey, apricots. I got two bags of shredded carrots because these aren't organic. Um, I wish they made these organic. But it's just um, when I'm in a hurry and I'm having to throw something together, it just makes it so much easier to have these pre-shredded for me. Um, and I can use it in a veggie bowl, salads, um, sushi bowl, sushi, whatever, you know, I can use it for that. So it just makes it a little bit easier. And sometimes you do have to make those shortcuts. I got two bags of the organic carrots and I'm going to try, make sure I've got some that have the very large carrots in there. Cause I'm going to try to make some carrot noodles and see if Todd will like those. Cause he doesn't like zucchini noodles and doesn't like cucumber noodles. So there's that. Um, we got some Kobe back, Kobe Jack Vital Life cheese, shredded cheese for salad topping. Um, follow your heart cheese for Kelsey because she loves that as a little snack. Uh, some flower seeds that are mm. shelled. Two bags of coleslaw mix. This also was not on the on the menu or on the list, um, but asparagus, and I like to eat this raw, so. A bag of garlic. Three red bell peppers. This was from Foo Lion. Um, this is the Italian parsley, so I got a bunch of that. I got four uh, organic cucumbers. Um, those are the English variety, you know. <laughs> a head of uh, red cabbage. Um, Todd got some veganese because he uses this to make his, um, sorry, <laughs> follow your heart um, veganese because he likes to use that to make his um, Thousand Island dressing. We were running a little low on maple syrup. Um, I got some avocado oil because one recipe calls for one tablespoon of avocado oil. So, yeah. Um, and I do, we do use a little oil. We just don't like to drown things in oil or deep fry things and things like that because that's just not really health promoting. I got two jars of the best option I have locally. Um, Thai organic coconut milk. It does have guar gum, but it doesn't have any additional um, fillers and preservatives and things you don't want to put in your body. Um, I got some sun butter and some chocolate sun butter because this is actually really good when it's safe. And this this time it was safe. Um, they they were putting um, something they listed as natural flavors in there. So we wouldn't buy it for a long time. So now Kelsey can have that one again. She's smiling at it right now. Um, three bags of organic frozen corn. Four bags of organic frozen peas. Those were from Aldi's on this in the bag. There's supposed to be four bags of peas. Um, organic peppers. I believe I got these. I think at Aldi's. Yes, I think at Aldi's. Red onions because this is Todd's favorite. <laughs> um, some avocado. We have a couple recipes that call for a little bit of avocado. Ginger. Parsnips. Uh, there's six of these in here. And I got some of the fat ones because I'm going to try. I have one recipe that calls for uh, parsnips chopped. But I also want to try to um, make some noodles out of these and see what those are like. Possibly another option for Todd. Possibly. Um, I have three of these of uh, broccoli. Organic. I got three packs of uh, three heads of bok choy 
think it's three. One, two, three. Yes, three heads of bok choy. Um, unfortunately, there was no organic option for that. I did not count the bananas this time. I just grabbed a bunch because we're using the, the stuff out of the freezer, and I don't know how much I'm going to be using in there. So I just grabbed a bunch. What we don't use can be go ahead. Um, <laughs> once it gets spotted, we can chop it up and bag it up and put it in the freezer for later use. I got um, three packs of organic zucchini. And two packs of organic celery. I don't know why they chop the ends off of the organic celery unless it just looks really um, bug ridden. I'm not sure, but I bought stuff. I bought it at Walmart, and it's the whole stock. So I don't know why this is from Audi. I don't know why they just chop off the organic ones, but that would be. That would be my guess. So that is the grocery haul for uh, High Raw Vegans for this week. So if you enjoy this, uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, so Yahweh bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time, God bless.